first one to show you is um, this Mac Bytes to do file. So let me enable the macros in there. Um, the, the, the security, Microsoft stepped up the security starting in Excel 2007. And now every time you open a file that's got macros in it, um, you get this, this message. Now you can turn that message off. You can actually tell it not to display that message, but it is better to have that message displayed than not. Because the, 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 the issue is that VBA can contain uh, harmful code. You know, if you've written the macros yourself or if the macros have been written by somebody that you trust, then, you know, I would recommend always clicking on enable macros. But, you, you know, you never know um, if you've downloaded something from the Internet. Um, it might be, as far as you're concerned, something genuine. But if the macro runs, uh, it, you know, it could do all, all sorts of nasty things to your computer. So um, it's always better to have the, um, the, the security message coming up. On Windows, there are quite a number of things you can do to uh, to change security settings. On the Mac, there's uh, there's less options, uh, but I I think it's because the uh, the the way that uh, VBA works on the Mac and and certainly interacts with the the Mac operating system, uh, it doesn't interact with the Mac OS as much as uh, VBA actually interacts with the Windows file system, so it, it can't do as much damage. So I'll enable the macros there and it's opened the file and this is a, a Mac Bytes to do um, list. And I got the idea here from a, a to do list that I was asked, at, I was asked to create for somebody uh, where I work. They wanted a, an action tracker. So, you know, this you could use this at home. You could use this at work. Uh, it's just a, an action tracker. And the idea is that anything that has been completed needs to move across to the completed tab. Now, yes, you could just select all the text for something that's completed, cut it and paste it into that tab there. But you know, why do it manually when you can click a button and do it automatically? Now, if I happen to click on uh, the move to completed on a row that's, that's not got a completed task, it tells me I've selected an invalid row. But if I go to one that has got a completed task, move to completed, it's gone. I was just a little bit too fast there. Let's go back to completed and you can see that it's actually moved that record across. Let's do it with this one. Move to completed and there we go. It's gone. So a very simple example of something that you could do with a macro.